How much cash would you need to buy an assignment? Have you ever thought if you're going to buy an assignment, a condo assignment in Toronto, how much cash would you need for it? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate how much cash you need. We're going to make it real easy, simple, and short. Okay, friends, this is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker, and I help investors buy, sell, and invest in Toronto condos and real estate. We actually go all the way to Hamilton. Today, I'm going to show you how to to calculate the amount of cash you need to buy an assignment and we're going to make it the easy, the simple easy way. So if you're new to the game or you're curious about assignments or just want to know or want to check that your knowledge is okay, that is the video for you. Okay, so quick introduction, you'll see Captain here, Search Realty and Search Mortgage where I'm a real estate agent and mortgage broker if you need to buy, sell condos in Toronto or outside of it. If you need a mortgage, you need to refinance, let me know and I'll help you. This is torontocondosforsale.com. It's my site. When you come here and you click on projects in Toronto, you're going to get a list of all the new projects and construction projects that exist in the city. Okay, it's a long list. The thing about this list is it shows you all the condos that potentially are available under assignment. For example, let's say you wanted to get into uh, one, two, three Portland here but the building has sold out, or the type of unit you want is sold out. Let's say they sold all the one-bedroom units, but someone has a unit on assignment, okay? How would you know how much cash you'd need for it, okay? So that's what we're gonna look at today. And here's your property details. So what do we need to know? The first thing we need to know is how much the cost of that condo was original. So how much was originally the cost paid for? And I have a little cheat sheet for you right here, cash required, how much cash do I need to buy assignment? And what was the original purchase price? So as I explain, I'm going to go along, I'm going to move the bobbing head over here. And as I explain, I'm going to go along and show you what I'm doing. Oh, so let's say I bought my original condo for $600,000. That was the price, the total price for the condo. And I'm going to include everything I need to pay in there. Okay, so let's say we got the condo, if there's parking, the locker, off gates, whatever, just all of it. Let's put it at $600,000. Okay. Let's see the deposits paid so far. We're 15%. There's another 5% on occupancy, but we haven't reached occupancy yet. So we should say that so far. Deposit paid so far. So 15%. And 15% of 600 is 90,000. Okay. And, we'll, and the mortgage uh, that will be owed on the unit would be uh, a 20% uh, calculation. Remember that the 5% is on occupancy. Um, it'll be 500. It'll be uh, 20%, so it'll be 480. Okay, because the total deposits at 20% will be 120,000. I'm just not showing it here. Okay, so um, let's go here and I'll show you how to find assignments so you can play with it as we go along. So go to urbanrealtytoronto.com. This is one of my websites, my main website. Scroll to the bottom, move that bobby head over here, and you'll see here special searches. This is on the listings updated 24 7, and then say assignments. Just hit this assignment link here, it's going to open a search for you. It's showing you a whole bunch of assignments available. Now, in reality, there's a lot more assignments available. So if you need, if you can't find what you want here, just let me know and I'll help you find it. Or if you want to sell it and be in that list, let me know. Um, but we can open anything here. Let's say uh, 200 Dundas. That's uh, uh, Dundas Square Gardens, I believe it's called. And uh, that should be a really nice project. So here's a little unit. Uh, somebody bought this unit. It's got two bedroom and a den. And it's, uh, it's got a nice balcony or a terrace. <coughs> really sweet unit. And they went for this unit 739. So what was let's say um, they bought it for 600,000. So this unit 739. We're gonna put it here. Assignment price 739. Okay. So 739. So they bought this unit for 600,000. Now they're asking 739. Okay, great. See assignment sale. Assignment sale. So what we're we gonna do now is we're gonna know we're gonna calculate the profit, which is the difference between the assignment price. So how much is the assignment price less the original purchase price? 600. It's 139. Okay. So if it's 139, and let's get this uh, under uh, number here. Remove the zeros. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now deposits that were paid so far um, are these. Okay. Let's make it. Um, <clears throat> so the cash required. Uh, and when I say cash required, remember the question today is how much cash you need is that um, the cash required you're going to need to buy the assignment is you're going to have to pay the person, the original person that bought the, the, the unit, the original purchaser, okay, the body from developer. Uh, they paid 90000 so far and they're asking for 139000 profit. Let's say, let's say that's what, uh, so, so they're going to need, um, I've put, now this is from the uh, seller of the assignment. I put 90000 so far. 
So I want that money back and I want my profit, 139. So 229,000. So you need 229,000 in this case to buy this assignment. Now, of course, it's a very high amount because if you think about it, 229 out of 600,000 is more than a third. But that's the thing with assignments, many times they need a lot of cash. But not always. Okay. Now, cash negotiate. I left this here uh, because let's say that we agreed on price of 720. In that case, I need uh, I need nineteen thousand dollar less. Uh, they agreed to put the profit at one twenty instead of one thirty nine. So I'm going to have to come up with two hundred ten thousand, and that's my cash negotiated. Okay, so it's here. I'm trying to make it the same, make it easy. Now, what's due on closing? How much you need on closing? Uh, so there's two things here. The first thing is how much due on closing, um, because maybe the deposits uh, were not paid in full yet. I had a typo there. So I'm going to add a line here. To make it go, oh. okay, uh, let me see if I can do this, insert row. Um, so deposit phase so far, the mortgage owed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down here, and I say deposits uh, left to pay. So I got 5% left to pay, and then be 5% of 600,000, that's 30,000. Okay, so um, 600 less uh, 90, less 30,000, less 480, that, e that equals, okay? We're going to make this into a number two, format, number, number, remove the zeros, and there we go. Okay, so that's, that's really, that's the, this part here, I'll make a line. Uh, this part here is the part that shows you the original purchase, okay? Right there. Great. And now, drag this one. Okay. Now they're asking 720. The profit is going to be 120. Uh, they've put deposits so far 90. Now this is cash required um, to take over the assignment, but don't forget, do on closing cash. So we have a couple of things. First of all, we have that 30,000. Okay, because deposits left to pay, that's on closing on occupancy. Um, actually, let's say this is on occupancy. I mean, we can complicate as much as we want. Um, let, me, let, let me simplify this. What's due on closing? So on closing, let's say in closing in this case is the occupancy. Now, closing could mean many things. It can mean when do, when do the assignor and assignee close or when do the unit close. Let's say in this case everything happens the same, okay? They're going to close on the same day they get occupancy, just to make it simple and short video. So what would I need here? I would need the 90 that they already paid the 30 the developer owed plus the profit now the profit could be negotiated it could be negotiated um, between the buyer and the seller of the assignment and they can each decide and together come to a conclusion when to pay that let's say in this case everything's going to get paid on occupancy so the person that has the assignment will get paid the person who's buying the assignment will pay what are they going to pay they are going to pay the 90 because you know you already gave to the developer so I'm going to reimburse you for this I'm going to need 30,000 to pay the developer, and I'm going to need another the profit profit here to pay back the um, owner of the assignment 240. Okay, now that makes sense. Why? Because we owe 210 to the original purchaser of the assignment for the 90 they paid already and the 120 the profit. And then the developer, there's two people here, and the developer will get 30 from us on closing. That's 210. Okay, so that's in this case, that's very simple. And what's due on, on closing the mortgage? The mortgage is actually 80% of the original purchase price because the rest we paid on cash. So in this case, it will be 600, right? Less 120,000. Uh, why? Because that's 20% of 600. So it's really 600 less um, these two. That's better. 480. And that's true. I do need a, a mortgage of 480 for this assignment. Okay? Um, let's do this again. <laughs> and here, by the way, I'm going to show you, I'm going to get back to this in a second, but these are all the closing costs and all the other costs that I'm not calculating. This is just to take over the assignment. So once again, the purchase price was $600,000. The original purchaser paid the developer 90000 so far. They still owe 30000 They lost the 5%. Therefore, the mortgage... Uh, it's going to be 80% here. I should really say 
80% is the mortgage, that makes more sense, and together these are 100, the 600, okay? <clears throat> That's the original deal. Now, the assignment price is sold to us. Remember, we uh, looked at this and we agreed. This is all, of course, um, made up. I don't know who owns this. I'm just using an uh, example. 739, but they agreed to sell it to us for 720 because Yossi is such a great real estate agent and helping negotiate that. Um, so they already had 90 for the deposit. I got to pay the developer 30, and I got to pay them the profit, 120. So together, it's 210, okay? And then also um, 210 plus the 30, 240. That's what I meant. And the 480 is, of course, the same as 480 this, which is the actual mortgage on the unit. That means that the difference between 600 and 720 is cash. I'm just paying this to the, to the seller of the assignment. Now, not all assignments uh, work like this. Some of, the, some of the sellers of assignments, what they would do is they say, you know what? Pay me some now and pay me some later. You know, I paid already the developer 90000 and my profit is 120 so it's 210 together. Now, I know it's really expensive, so how about we make a deal here? You know, just pay me um, this 90000 and give me another 35000 my profit, and the rest of the profit I'll take on final closing. Okay, so how does that work? Let's see. So I'm still going to need to reimburse them for wherever they, they pay the developer. Yes. I'm still going to have to pay the developer... Uh, whatever is left, the 30,000, 30, the 5% occupancy, yes. And out of this 120, they said uh, 35,000, so 35,000. Okay, in this case, I'm going to need 155,000. So what's going to happen to the rest of the money? What's going to have the difference between the 120 and the 35? That I still owe this to the seller of the assignment, right? I'm buying them, 85000 Where's the 85000 coming from? Ah, I'm going to pay that to them on final closing, on registration, when the unit is deeded. And why would I do it? Because I may want to put it on my mortgage. So instead of my mortgage going to be 480 it's going to be actually 480 plus 85565 Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? I shifted, I shifted the difference here, 85,000. I shifted it from the cash requirement that I need to give uh, right here, 210. And I also, gave, I also gave 155. I just gave the 155 in this case, cash required. And that means that my mortgage grew from 480 to 5, 565. Okay, so just to explain. Uh, so this here is um, uh, pay on registration. And that's really what this, this box here means. It's when I pay on registration. Okay. Sorry. All right. Okay. Pay on registration. Okay. It happens. So, <clears throat> everyone's alive. That's good. Once again, the 90, I have to pay it anyways because they paid it to the developer. The 30 is due on occupancy, you gotta pay it. Uh, the mortgage is 480, and if, if, if we agree that I'm gonna defer, I'm gonna pay you some of your profits, 35 now, and the 85 later, that means that my cash requirements are lower than only 155. And that brings my mortgage up by the other 85%, which is 565. Now here's the thing. I need to make sure that I can get the mortgage for 565. It's not automatic. It's actually not guaranteed even mortgage 480 is going to need to be paid. Okay, so in order to make sure they have the mortgage available for 565, you have to go to the bank and do uh, pre-approval for your mortgage, explain that it's an assignment, and sometimes they're actually going to ask you to bring them uh, an agreement of purchase and sale. And in that case, you actually have to do the deal, put a condition on the deal, condition on financing, and once you've done it, then we go to the bank with the um, with the papers and ask them to review this. Obviously, we've done all the pre-work before, and then we're going to come to them, and we have a good relationship with the mortgage broker. Could be Yossi, could be someone else, and that's how we set for it. So that's how we calculate how much cash we need. Now that's a very that's an introductory video. I'm going to make a lot more video, many more videos about assignments and how to calculate them. Uh, today I'm releasing how to get condos for sixty thousand or less than asking. Uh, him for you. It's all based on negotiations and timing. Okay. Um, today's video, how much cash you need. Uh, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. you find all the updates. Everything comes here. UrbanRealtyToronto.com My main site where you find a lot, over a thousand articles that I've written throughout the years. 
Uh, plus all the links here, you can link directly to all my sites. Or if you want to see what's available in the South Core or anywhere else, just go to the listings and hit that button and you get the information right away. It's a pretty good tool and then you can use the filter here uh, to filter further. Okay, very nice. Okay, uh, that's it for today. If you want to know what are your carrying costs for your condo, um, how much uh, your estimated condo fees, how much you're estimating taxes, and what's your estimated mortgage, just go to the calculator, download this thing. You're going to get the link to this uh, spreadsheet. You can calculate it by yourself and watch the condo calculator video uh, to figure out uh, what are these costs are. Okay, it's in here, condo calculator. It's actually the first one here right now. Okay, that's it for today. Quick and easy, Yossi Kaplan, how much cash do you need to buy that assignment? Thank you very much. That's it.